welcome back to another episode of Weekly Health News. Every week we bring you the latest news and updates from the world of health and wellness. We cover everything from new medical breakthroughs to healthy lifestyle tips and everything in between. Here's a quick recap of the top news of the week that went by. Covid risk is still lurking. The World Health Organization's European office has warned about the risk of Covid as the infection has caused nearly 1000 deaths in a week in the region. Meanwhile, WHO had announced that Covid was no longer a global health emergency. The size of population living with diabetes is likely to increase by 1.3 billion by 2050, a new Lancet study has found. Recently, a study by the Indian Council of Medical Research or ICMR had found that more than 100 million people in India have diabetes and 136 million are pre-diabetic. Napping can reduce the risk of dementia. A study published in the journal Sleep Health has found a link between habitual napping and larger brain volume in people aged 40 to 69. A larger brain volume means good brain health and a lower risk of dementia. As per a study published in the journal Nature, skin moles might be a ray of hope in the treatment of hair loss and baldness. In the study on mice, the researchers have found that moles contain osteopontin that promotes hair growth. A study from Uppsala University has found that higher body mass index increases the risk of five rheumatic diseases like rheumatism, osteoarthritis, gout, psoriatic arthritis and inflammatory spondylitis. A study by Brigham and Women's Hospital have found a connection between phenol biomarkers and thyroid levels in women. The findings of the study has been published in the journal Toxics. The study highlights on the impact of environmental toxins on the reproductive health of females. A study published in Computers in Human Behaviour has found that perfectionistic parental attitudes lead to maladaptive responses in kids. The study investigates how perfectionism influences people's reactions in situations where cognitive performance is required. A study published in Diabetes Care found that adults with type 2 diabetes had the greatest improvement in glucose control when they were most active in the afternoon. The study has found the link between the timing of physical activity and its impact on blood sugar levels. A study published in Science Advances found that green ambience slows biological aging in individuals. It found that people who have access to green spaces found to be on average 2.5 years biologically younger than those who do not. Well, that's all the updates on health for this week. As monsoon arrives, do not forget to maintain your nutrition intake. Eat lots of seasonal fruits and vegetables. Tune in next Friday for our latest health news video. Stay happy, healthy and safe.